So today at the Isle of Wight Driving Academy, we're gonna be doing some of Coppins Bridge. We're in the Cowes Lane at the moment. And we're gonna be following that, continuing towards Cowes, along the dual carriageway towards the St. Mary's Roundabout. Now again, the driving conditions today are good and dry, which means my separation distance has gotta be about two seconds to keep a safe gap. Now with box yellow junctions, just remembering that you should not enter the box yellow junction unless your exit is clear. We can see the car in front has moved off nicely. So I'm now gonna move in towards the Cowes Lane maintaining a good lane discipline, nice and early. Now coming through the middle of Coppins Bridge, we can see there's people waiting at the crossing. The lights are on green, but I'm gonna keep a steady speed just in case they change. Now we're up to the point where it's safe to continue, but in the distance we can see the lights for the dual carriageway have turned to red. So I'm checking my mirrors now, my interior mirror, my right hand mirror, and because I'm gonna be going very slow, my left hand mirror as well, to ensure that I know what's behind me and if there's any potential risks. So as I'm coming up to the line now, I'm rechecking my mirrors again to ensure that I know what's going on down either side of the car. At the moment, it all looks safe behind me. Now waiting for the lights, I'm checking all three mirrors as I move off, and then I'm increasing my speed. And again, with the speed limit on the national speed limit here, we're looking for a 70 mile an hour dual carriageway. Now I'm already looking at the slip road coming in, so I'm checking my inside mirror and my right hand mirror to make sure if anyone comes up the slip road, I can move over into the overtaking lane. Now I'm in the left hand lane, which is a normal driving lane. So I can increase my speed and there's no need to go into the right hand lane if the left hand lane is nice and clear. Now coming up towards St Mary's Roundabout, we're gonna be taking the third exit today off towards B&Q and the industrial estates. So to move lanes, I'm checking my interior rear view mirror my right hand mirror and then I'm doing a chin to shoulder check to make sure that there's no one in my immediate vicinity. I've not checked over my shoulder because on a dual carriageway that's not overly safe to be doing. Now on approach to the roundabout again I'm going to do my mirrors. I'm now signalling and I'm positioning myself I'm selecting gear number two on approach to the roundabout. I'm going in slow and I'm looking over on my right hand side moment that's nice and clear so I'm aiming towards the island in the middle to select my lane and again I'm making sure that I do not cross through the broken white lines my right indicator is maintaining to show the cars on my left that I'm going past them to leave the roundabout I'm switching my left indicator on with a left mirror check to make sure it's safe at the next roundabout I'm going to turn left again so I'm keeping an eye to my right to ensure that it's safe and then I'm moving in towards the industrial estates and that is St Mary's Roundabout from the dual carriageway to the right towards the industrial estates.